Hey everyone, so Denis Villeneuve has spoken out about the recent decision by Warner Brothers to put Dune on HBO Max, the streaming site, and his statement really does pack a punch. In the exclusive that he sent into Variety, he mentions that AT&T has hijacked one of the most respectable and important studios in film history. So here he's praising Warner Brothers themselves. He's not really attacking Warner Brothers directly, he's attacking AT&T. So this might make things more clear as to who he might be actually going after. And he describes this decision as meaning that there is absolutely no love for cinema or the audience in this action. And then he he really starts going into AT&T's debt of 150 billion and how this is just about the survival of the telecom. So he's really attacking the root of the problem here. He then goes to describe HBO Max as a failure. Now, by saying this, this completely undermines any plan they would have had for a Dune the Sisterhood series, surely. Now, whether or not that means that Dune the Sisterhood is going to be moving to another streaming service, it's too early to tell but by these strong words completely undermining HBO Max, it kind of feels like a severed tie, uh, an irreparable damage caused there even by words. So I'm not sure what is going to happen with the Dune the Sisterhood series now after that comment. Describing HBO as a failure is, that's a gut punch. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh, but it's really strong language here, and I don't know what is going to happen with the ties between Denis Villeneuve, HBO Max. He was supposed to be making a Dune the Sisterhood pilot episode, directing it himself. Whether or not that's happened yet, I'm not sure. Whether or not it's going to happen, I'm not sure either. Villeneuve says that AT&T decided to sacrifice Warner Brothers' entire 2021 slate in a desperate attempt to grab the audience's attention. Now, now, I think the key words here are desperate attempt. HBO Max is desperate compared to the statistics of other streaming sites, they aren't pulling as many as Disney Plus, for example. So they really did need to pull a drastic move. And this was that drastic move. The media industry overall is in desperate times. But then he starts going into Warner Brothers. He then says Warner Brothers' sudden reversal from being a legacy home for filmmakers to the new era of complete disregard draws a clear line for me. And then he reminds them that filmmaking is a collaboration, reliant on the mutual trust of teamwork, and Warner Brothers has declared they are no longer on the same team. So here Denis Villeneuve is criticising the decision for Warner Brothers to take that stance and to go ahead with that decision to put their 2021 slate on HBO Max. But the language he's using seems to imply that he's done with Warner Brothers, he doesn't want to be on their team anymore, it's a clear line drawn, and that seems to mean that he doesn't want to collaborate with them in the future which we'll get to in a minute and this is just a reminder that if you like these videos please don't forget to like share and subscribe and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos now that that is out the way let us get back to the new news he then goes on to praise streaming services but then he says he wants us to understand as an audience that streaming alone can't sustain the film industry as we knew it before covid now of course that is true but at the moment Streaming services are carrying film and television upon their shoulders throughout this pandemic. So perhaps a little more credit for the streaming services should have been given. Just a thought. He then goes on to say that streaming services can produce great content, but not movies of Dune's scope and scale. Now, while I understand what he's trying to say, I'm not sure I fully agree with that statement 100% because there have been some TV series that have aired that come across as cinematic in their scale and their scope. So I'm not sure that statement is entirely 100% accurate, but I understand what he's trying to say. He's trying to say that cinema cannot be compared to TV. But then in podcasts that he's spoken of, he's mentioned that TV is where he discovered some of the greatest movies ever, such as 2001 Space Odyssey. This is where he discovered those films on television and televisions in his day were a lot smaller than they are now. So perhaps this is a little unfair towards TV and 
streaming services. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, Dune On Demand, I mentioned how piracy is going to be an issue, and Villeneuve reiterates this fact. He says that Dune will not be able to financially perform in order to be viable, and piracy will ultimately triumph. So he's really certain that piracy is going to be an issue. And then probably one of the most devastating sentences of all in this statement, he says, Warner Brothers might just have killed the Dune franchise. And then he follows that with saying, this one is for the fans. So I don't really know who he's referring to here or what he's referring to specifically, but there have been videos produced on YouTube that have worryingly created videos of these titles. And I'm certainly one of those people who have made videos about this subject. So perhaps he's talking to us directly, the content creators who have been presenting this question ever since the pushback and, and before that, when we didn't even have have a trailer. But I guess it's nice to know that he's referring to fans directly. This is probably the first time he's done that, but it's under really depressing, really sad circumstances. You know, he's referring to us directly when he's saying that Warner Brothers might have killed the Dune franchise. So that's not the best circumstance to make a connection with Dune fans. But these are the circumstances we are in. So by him saying that the Dune franchise might be killed is one of the worries that we were thinking of right Right from the get-go, we were thinking there wasn't going to be a Dune Part 2, and I've expressed these concerns in several videos which you can check out, and the reasons for those concerns. Does all this mean now that Dune Part 2 will not get made because of a tarnished relationship between Warner Brothers and HBO Max and Denis Villeneuve and all the cast and crew? I don't know, but it's not looking good. It's as simple as that, but it hasn't looked good for a very long time. With the release of the Dune trailer, they tried to have a brave face, but it just seemed staged PR. It wasn't very convincing to me. Not really feeling it, you know. There wasn't a lot of hope in those PR videos, whether it's the Shanghai International Film Festival interview, where he mentions all the problems that he's had, whether it's Hans Zimmer's problems that he's had making the music for the film, all of these things. There's been a negative connotation connected to every single element of Dune since the beginning almost, or at least since after the film had wrapped. Then he goes on to say, public safety comes first, nobody argues with that, which is why when it became apparent the winter would bring a second wave of the pandemic, that was one of the reasons why he chose to push back Dune to October 2021. So it was quite obvious that he always wanted to keep Dune off of streaming sites from the get-go. He didn't want any part of it, no matter how long it takes for Dune to come out. So my feeling is that Denis Villeneuve would delay Dune until 2022, 2023, whatever it takes. I don't think he would want Dune released until people can go to the cinemas and there can be a decent return for the film financially. He says he understood and supported the decision to delay Dune. So that means it wasn't really his call to make, of course, but he supported it nonetheless. I'm sure if Warner Brothers came to him and said, we want to delay Dune until 2022, 2023, he would have supported that decision too. He then goes on to say that Dune is by far the best movie he's ever made. And while that is really reassuring, we don't know how we're going to get to see it or when we're going to get to see it, based on whatever develops in the future. But the more worrying thing for me is that that it's only half a movie. And with the way things are going, with the relationship between Denis Villeneuve and Warner Brothers, will we even get to see a Dune part two? Will we even get to see a Dune the Sisterhood series? Imagine if HBO Max goes ahead with making the Dune the Sisterhood series without Denis Villeneuve on board. It would have been a nice touch for him to direct the pilot of Dune the Sisterhood series, but perhaps to Warner Brothers, it isn't the be all and end all. So they might still go ahead with Dune the Sisterhood series without him, if it comes to that. But I'm really hoping that they come to some kind of arrangement, some kind of deal where all parties can be satisfied. He says he stands in solidarity with the other 16 filmmakers who have spoken out or suffered the same fate. And of course, one of those is Christopher Nolan, who has been very vocal about this. He then goes to praise the cinema experience and say that the future of cinema is on the big screen and that he doesn't believe that that will change. He then calls on AT&T to act swiftly with the same responsibility 
respect and regard and to protect the vital cultural medium that is cinema. He then says that economic impact to stakeholders is only one aspect of corporate social responsibility. So he's really going after the corporates here. And this sounds exactly the same as Alejandro Hodorowsky's Dune, that wonderful documentary where Alejandro criticizes the corporates too. Villeneuve says, cinema on the big screen is more than a business, it is an art form that brings people together. And Alejandro said in Jodorowsky's Dune, movies are an art more than an industry. Villeneuve then ends his statement with a heartfelt message and says, long live theatrical cinema. <laughs> Cast members of Denis Villeneuve Dune have also shown their support. As of now, Jason Momoa, Josh Brolin and David Desmolchin shared on their Instagrams this interview with an image of him and they do support his words and what he has to say. So they are definitely in agreement with him. But what do you all think? Will there be a Dune part two? Will there be a Dune the Sisterhood series? Do you think the relationship between Warner Brothers and Denis Villeneuve is severed now? Let me know in the comment section below. Today's art feature is by Yasmin. I love the flowing caped figure on the tip of the dune and the colour choices are very nice. If you like these videos please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. If you like this channel you can support me on my Patreon and join the channel as a member where you'll receive access to exclusive content ahead of time, secret content and more. Thank you and until next time, see you soon.